she's absolutely like passionate about like the lifting up the community and um, making sure that we all pull together. One year after the deaths of Vicki Sims and Alua Toy and Salou, friends and family are now learning to live a life without the women who dedicated their lives to serving their community. ABC 27's Micah Cho talked to friends who knew the women and explains how their legacy is living on today. When you got to know her, you know how deeply she cared about people. Vicki Sims was loved by everyone she met, and so was Alua Toy and Salou. I feel like we, you know, she was stolen from us, she was taken from us. Both women were found dead at the home of Aaron Glee off of Monday Road in Tallahassee one year ago today. Glee is suspected of kidnapping and murdering Sims and Salou, and now friends are trying to figure out how to live their lives without the ones they loved. The quiet, peaceful demeanor that I saw on her and the desire to be of service and to help other people. Ann Pelt saw Sims about a week before she disappeared, saying her friend was a woman of service. Trish Brown met 19-year-old Salou through Black Lives Matter activism and says, like Sims, she had a heart for bringing change to the community she called home. She was very independent, um, very strong when it came down to being a, a BLM leader in the community. Salou's friends also holding a candlelight vigil to honor Salou's dedication to social issues at the state capitol on Friday. Both women leaving a lasting impact on the community they served. In Tallahassee, Micah Cho for ABC 27. Aaron Glee is scheduled for another court hearing in August. A trial date hasn't been set yet.